Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the applications of flip-flops. Till now, we have seen what are the different types of flip-flops and the conversions we have seen their excitation tables, truth tables. So all these are the flip-flops and we can use them in different applications, different designs we have seen. All these are for different applications. So some of those applications, I am stating them here. So the first application was parallel data storage parallel data storage <clears throat> so i told you many times flip flops cannot be used alone okay a group of flip flops can be called as a registers and those registers can be used to store a group of data like 2 bit 3 bit 4 bit and n number of bits can be stored in a registers registers are made up of group of flip flops so all the applications what i am stating here may or may, may be a part of the registers so registers are nothing but a group of group of flip flops <coughs> group of flip flops that means we are using let us consider an example an example i am taking a d flip flop this is D flip flop. The output of this flip flop, I am giving it to another D flip flop. And again, another one more D flip flop. Again, one more D flip flop. So, how many D flip flops you have used here? How many flip flops you have used here? Four flip flops. That means this particular register consists of four bits of information. It is used to store four bits of information because see here this is the output of first flip flop second flip flop output third flip flop output and fourth flip flop output whatever the input we are giving at this point zero in the first clock instant okay there are two types of uh, registers here it may be a synchronous and it may be asynchronous synchronous nothing but clock signal will is common for all the flip flops asynchronous is nothing but uh, clock signal is different for different flip-flops here the clock signal we are giving it to common for all the flip-flops that means if any raising a jackers automatically whatever the input data appeared here initially let us consider all the flip-flops are cleared <laughs> initially all the flip-flops are cleared that means what is the output of every flip-flop zero 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 here it is 0. Okay. Let us consider I am giving the input as 1. Listen carefully. I am giving input as 1 and all the flip-flops are initially cleared. All the flip-flops are initially cleared is nothing but outputs are 0. So whatever the input, whatever the previous data it has handled automatically when clear signal is passed on all these flip-flops, it, main, it maintains 0 in the output. Okay. And all these we have considered as synchronous flip-flops. So synchronous is nothing but every flip-flop in the register must operate with a common clock pulse. So this is the common clock pulse operated to all the D flip-flops. Whenever the raising edge has given, whatever the input at D flip-flop, we know already D flip-flop just passes the input to the output without any deviation. So the input signal will be passed to the output. Now, when raising a occurs, when raising a occurs, this is one. And this zero, this one will be moved to this place, and this zero will be moved to this place, and this zero will go to this place, and this zero will go to this place. This is for first clock pulse. And in the second clock pulse, again, again we are giving one here. This one will come here, and this one will go to this layer, and this zero will go to here, and this zero will go to here. Okay, so in the beginning it will be 0, 0, 0. Register consists of four zeros. After giving the first clock pulse, so 1, 3, 0. After giving the next clock pulse, 1, 1, 0, 0. After giving, after one more clock pulse, it will be like this. So the input will be, the new input which I am giving at the first uh, flip-flop input will be added and move on, uh, keep on moving among the flip-flops. So here, as a group of flip-flops handling particular data, 
these particular flip flops a group of flip flops is known as registers group of flip flop is known as register register is mainly constructed for different applications all these applications are maybe parallel storage serial storage serial to parallel conversion parallel to serial conversion counting operations okay all these are different applications of the registers indirectly all these are the applications of the flip flops because registers are again made up of flip flops okay flip flop alone we cannot use for any application the group of flip flops have to be used as a application so group of flip flops when you are saying a group of flip flop is nothing but it should be a register <coughs> okay <coughs> now coming to so what is the first application parallel data storage so here see here i am giving a d flip flop like this instead of giving individually like this we are giving data individually here 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 and here so parallelly data can be stored and we can retrieve the data at the output of every stage this is parallel data storage and similarly we can also use the group of flip flops for serial data storage serial data storage serial data storage that is, that is what i have explained so far so consider two flip flops in two flip flops two bit of information can be stored so serially nothing but we are giving only at this point this is the input we are giving and the output of first flip flop is given to the input of the second flip flop and this is the output so clock signal so this is the first output q1 this is the q0 so q0 q1 is stored serially here one after another whatever the input see this is the data i am giving first this bit will go here again second bit will go again third bit will go again fourth bit will go serially bit by bit the data is being stored among the flip flops how many how many flip flops are there that many flip flops will be handled whatever the data we are giving for every new clock pulse okay this is serial data storage whenever you say storage nothing but a memory nothing but a flip flop and third one is transfer of data transfer of data this part of the transfer of data mainly applicable to d flip flop because d flip flop is the only flip flop which transfer the input data to output without any deviation in the input signal okay this particular task is accomplished by this task is accomplished by d flip flop d flip flop because it will not uh, deviate the original data or we can say input data we can say input data transfer of data this task is accomplished by the d flip flops only we can use d flip flops for the transfer of data for the transfer of data because d flip flops we know the output of d flip flop is nothing but whatever the input we are giving for a clock pulse occurrence okay whenever the clock pulse occurred automatically the input data will be transferred to the output if we are giving one output is equal to one if you are giving zero output is equal to zero okay but the condition is clock should be occurred clock uh, rising edge or falling edge depending upon the type of the clock that will be occurred <laughs> this is transfer of data and next serial to parallel conversion fourth one serial to serial to parallel conversion so serial to parallel conversion is nothing but serial data serial data is being converted into parallelly that means input data <coughs> data input data will be passing serially input data will be passing serially but output is taken output is taken 
parallelly. Input data is sending serially and output is taken parallelly. That is the meaning of serial to parallel conversion. So if you are taking a 3 bit, let us consider a 3 bit <coughs> register. Here data is serially given as input D flip flop output Q again D output Q again D output Q. Okay, so we are taking synchronous clock which is common to all the flip flops. So here the input is given serially. This is serial input. We are not giving input at multiple places. Hope you understand. Input at multiple places. We are giving input only at the first stage. This is serial input. This is serial input. What we are doing? We are taking output parallelly. This is first output. This is second output. This is third output. We are naming it as Q0, Q1, Q2. <coughs> so Q0, Q1, Q2 when the input is 1. <coughs> Initially all the flip flops are zeros. When the input is 1. So for occurrence of first clock pulse, what happens when you are giving a first clock pulse? Input 1 will be moved to the Q2. So Q2 becomes 1 and remaining are zeros. And again for the next clock pulse, the input will be moved like this. Again for the third clock pulse, it will be like this. So data is moving serially but stored parallelly. Okay, this is what serial to parallel conversion. And opposite action for this one is parallel to serial conversion parallel to serial conversion. So in parallel to serial conversion, data is given parallelly as input and we are taking serial output. Data is given parallelly and taken serially. So taken is nothing but output and giving is nothing but input. So consider the same example what we have seen in the previous case. So 3 bit data, 3 bit means 3 flip flops. So D, 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 Q, 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 the output of this one is given to first and second, second to third and this is output. Here parallel data we are giving. Parallel data we are giving. So this is the parallel input. Okay, wrong. See, parallel we are giving means output is not given to the next flip flop. Okay. So this is first input. This is second input. This is third input. We are giving I3, I2 and I1. Okay. This is the output Q0. So what we are doing, we are giving input parallelly. Parallelly means so no output of flip flop is connected to next stage flip flop input. Okay, because all these are parallel inputs. And all these clock, the synchronous clock. So what happens whenever the clock signal occurs, input will be transmitted to. See, this is has this has a connection. Okay, so parallelly we are giving the input and we are taking the output so bit by bit bit by bit the data is coming as output and next one very important operation of this flip flops is counter 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 is very very important operation main application of the flip flop counter is used to it means it is used to count number of clock pulses number of clock pulses okay so number of clock pulses so counter is used to count the number of clock pulses that is the main application it is it is constructed by using a different flip flops it may be a t flip flop or jk flip flop or a d flip flop depending upon the type of the construction so uh, generally generally for n flip flops n flip flops can count n flip flops can count 2 power n clock pulses 
2 power n clock pulses that is the meaning n flip flop suppose i am using two flip flops two flip flops i have constructed together those two flip flops are used to count 2 power 2 nothing but four clock pulses four clock pulses like your uh, number of combinations how we are having two two inputs will give you four combinations like that two flip flops will count four clock pulses <coughs> and the last application was frequency division <coughs> Frequency division. This is another important application commonly used for the flip flops is frequency division. Frequency division is nothing but the input frequency can be divided by a and by an integer, any number. So flip flops may be used to divide <coughs> used to divide the input signal frequency input signal frequency by any number by any number so any number so a single flip flop may be used to divide the input frequency by two for example one flip flop can divide can divide the frequency by 2 the frequency by 2 I will tell you when we go into that particular topic see all these topics what I have all these applications what I have stated here all these are different different uh, topics we are going to cover in coming videos okay thank you